Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us here this afternoon for the McGill Library Virtual Variety Show in support of Sontre. My name's Thomas from the Dean's Office, and I'm here with my co-host, Stephen Spodek, also from the Dean's Office. How's it going, Steve? Everything's going great, Thomas. Glad to be here today for this wonderful event. Can't wait to see all the amazing entertainment that our colleagues are going to put on for us. Yeah, we truly do have some wonderfully talented folks, and we're so excited to uh, be able to share their submissions with you here today. So first up, uh, the Dean's Office Finance team is going to kick us off. Let's go. Cette chanson était la tienne C'était ta préférée, je crois Qu'elle est de Prévert et Cosmo Et chaque fois Les feuilles mortes te rappelle à mon souvenir Jour après jour Les amours mortes N'en finissent pas de mourir Avec d'autres, bien sûr, je m'abandonne Mais leur chanson est monotone Et peu à peu je m'indiffère À cela il n'est rien à faire Car chaque fois Les feuilles mortes Te rappellent à mon souvenir Jour après jour Les amours mortes N'en finissent pas de mourir Peut-on jamais savoir par où commence Et quand finit l'indifférence Passe l'automne, vienne l'hiver Et que la chanson de Prévert Cette chanson Les feuilles mortes S'efface de mon souvenir Et ce jour-là Les amours mortes En auront fini de Et ce jour-là, les amours mortes en auront fini de mourir. That was Alex Soucy playing guitar and, and singing the song Chanson de Prévert. I want to introduce my colleague, Jane watson Sevigny, who's going to talk about the importance of Centre and why we're here today for this wonderful show. Over to you, Jane. Okay. All right. Good afternoon. I'm Jane watson Sevigny, member of the uh, Centre Library Committee. I'm here to talk to you about Centre. 
We hope you're enjoying our library virtual variety show. What a fantastic way to build community here in our library and contribute to an extremely worthy cause. The people in our community that are in real need now more than ever. Donations are spread out among many areas of need. They support youth services by stimulating early childhood development and encouraging academic perseverance. They support parents, families, and help prevent homelessness. They work equally hard at taking care of the basic life essentials, such as food, clothing, and decent housing, things we take for granted. Sontrade agencies help break social isolation for seniors, promote social inclusion for all, and support the integration of immigrants and refugees, as well as people experiencing crises. They help to build caring communities by bringing neighborhoods to life, encouraging volunteers, and providing staff training to build skills and promote leadership. Sontrade reaches out to everyone, not just on the island of Montreal, where 21.3% of the population is, but Laval and the South Shore also. Although Montreal is ranked second out of the North America's top 15 cities in terms of quality of life, it is unfortunately at the bottom 15th in terms of people living in poverty. Viens que je te raconte une histoire qui parle des gens de lutte et d'espoir. Montréal. Montreal. Du plateau à l'aval du vieux port à Brossard. Viens, mon histoire. It's one of beauty. It runs in my neighborhood, my alleyways, my city. Elle passe sur toutes ces gens, de leurs âmes abîmées les sept côtés. Who search for hope every day. Habité par le désir de se soutenir et de continuer d'espérer. And if you follow me, you'll see all the good we do in the city. Du nord au sud, de l'est à l'ouest, on tisse un voile dont les mailles serrées retiennent les plus de munis et les empêchent de chuter. Okay, yeah, we know. Que tout n'est pas parfait. Qu'ici, la diversité. Sometimes rhymes with poverty. Que la vie, les drames peuvent blesser même les plus obstinés. And even if the streets don't seem to have pity. On le crée, nous, ce grand tissu d'humanité tissé serré. C'est facile de fermer les yeux. To not see reality. C'est facile de nier. To look the other way. Et de laisser aller. L'indifférence blesse. Alors qu'une main tendue se court. All it takes is a simple gesture. Un peu d'amour pour revoir fleurir un sourire sur un visage résigné. And with our big hearts. On y fait de belles choses dans mon grand Montréal. On aide, on soutient, on épaule. We listen. On se protège les uns les autres. On se donne le droit d'espérer. Allez, viens. Open your eyes. Look at my greater Montreal. C'est pas juste les gens. It's not just the others. Ce que tu y vois, c'est toi, toi, moi, nous. Et même si les inégalités persistent, together, together we resist. Et on, on laissera personne, personne tomber. tomber. Say thank you to Joseph Hafner for a wonderful rendition of Irish Mary. Thank you, Joseph. Next up, he's going to continue to treat us with a beautiful version of the Finnerty's Dance.
Next up, we have a submission from the Roar group. Uh, Ellis Singh and Jennifer Garland were kind enough to put together a collection of images of rare book staff inserted uh, into historic photos from their collection. They call it curatorial cut-ups. Let's have a look. So next up is my wonderful colleague, Jacqueline Sunberg. Thomas, what's Jacqueline going to be doing for us today? Well, Steve, as far as I know, she's going to be putting on some puppets on parade and we'll be doing the tale of a young maid. And uh, as far as I understand it, these are all uh, vintage puppets from the Rosalind Stern collection. They're all paper cutouts. And I believe Jacqueline's going to be doing a little bit of singing too. Wow. Exciting stuff. Let's watch.
Hi everyone. I'm very happy to participate in the variety show. And this morning I got inspired by by our very first snow. So I couldn't help but to pick a tune that uh, will hopefully put us all in the holiday mode. Uh, thank you for listening. Enjoy, and I hope that you're well wherever you are. Thank you so much for that wonderful for sele that wonderful selection on your violin. It really puts us in the mood for the holidays coming up next month. I'm certainly excited for the holidays, aren't you, Steve? Oh, I'm really excited for the holidays. Hey, Thomas, aren't you and your band doing a, a tune for us now? Oh, that's right, Steve. I'm going to be performing uh, with my ensemble King Lobster Crew with my uh, fellow McGill music grads, uh, Vita Morales, Vincent Piet, and uh, Antoine Desi. And uh, we're gonna be playing a wonderful surf rock tune called Every Single Beach. And I think everyone's gonna have a lot of fun with that one. And immediately after that performance, we're gonna hear from David Green playing a song we all know by the Talking Heads.
Une beauté qui se voit de moins en moins Inconscient, les dangers qui s'en viennent Le paradis, ça se disparaît Pour le bien, d'autres intérêts Every beach has its charm Every single beach has its charm Every beach has its charm Every single beach has its Thank you very much. Hey everyone, it's Dave. Wishing you all the love you deserve this holiday season. Um, here's to a bright future and a beautiful world. Thomas, there have been some great performances so far. I'm really enjoying the show. Oh, me too, Steve. And, you know, it's wonderful to be here with you. And, and yeah, you know, it's funny. I went to a uh, grade school with uh, with another fellow called Steve. And obviously, for those of you who don't know, I'm from from Victoria, BC, way out there, way out on the other side of Canada, out there on the, uh, on the left coast, you know, west coast, the best coast, some people say. And that's where I grew up. Wonderful little island, Vancouver Island, full of trees and and beautiful beaches and and mountains and every every single wonderful living creature you could ever want to see lived out there beautiful Vancouver Island so I went to school out there and that's where I grew up and uh, when I was very young and my mom taught at 
the primary school that I went to. And, you know, one day Steve and I were in, we're in class and I was in my mom's class and we were both in my mom's class, Steve and I. So we're all in there and, you know, every day the teacher, and of course that was my mother, she'd get us all up in front of the class. She'd line up the whole class, line up all the little kids. And she'd be asking us questions about English or science or math or, or what have you. And we'd all line up single file. We'd go single file up in front of the entire class. We'd go one by one and, and we'd ask a question and my mom would ask us a question. And then we'd, we'd move along to the next child, obviously. And, and once in a while, the principal would stop in. Uh, and it was always wonderful to see the principal in the class. But sometimes he'd stop in just to make sure that, that we were learning. You know, it's important to make sure that the kids are learning. So one day the uh, the principal comes into the class. My mom's there. We're in my mom's class. And Steve and I and all the rest of the other kids, we're all in line. We're all in line up there in front of the in front of the classroom. She's asking us questions. And it's Steve's turn. And, and he goes up. My mom says, Steve, what is the difference? between prose and poetry and the principal's there and watching it on the classes everyone's waiting to hear what steve is going to say and and he and he gets red in the face you know he's embarrassed he thought he's embarrassed the whole class in front of the the principal you know and he says oh mrs dodd that i don't know i don't know the difference between prose and poetry i'm really sorry my mom said steve that's no problem and uh, the principal was there waiting my mom went up to the blackboard and whenever when she starts writing you know prose and and poetry and she said that the difference between prose and poetry is that prose doesn't rhyme and poetry does rhyme. So for example, you know, prose could be, uh, you know, there was an old lady who lived on the hill and one day she went to town. She said, that's prose because it doesn't rhyme. And then poetry, there was an old lady who lived on the hill and if she hasn't died, she's living there still. That's poetry because it does rhyme. And Steve said, well, I surely do understand that. And the rest of the class you know, moved on and the rest of the kids got asked their questions about math or science or you know, social studies or what have you. And then we wrapped up and the next week, the next week we're back in class, of course, because we go to school uh, five days a week there, you know, wonderful, wonderful school. They're teaching us full time as all the schools should be. And the principal comes back into our classroom and my mom's there and she gets us all up in front of the class. She gets us all up in front of the class, starts asking us questions. <laughs> and I go up and she says, Thomas, you know, what's four times two? And I said, well, mom, that's the answer sure is eight. And she said, well, that's correct. And the next, and the principal, you know, gives me the little little clap. And Steve is right behind me. And he's sweating, you know, because he remembered last week when he when he near embarrassed himself or the principal in front of the entire class. So Steve gets up there and, and he's sweating. He's a little bit red in the face and all eyes are on him. My mom says, Steve, do you remember the difference between prose and poetry? And you could tell he was just waiting to get asked this question. My mom says, what is the difference between prose and poetry? And he jumps up. And he's ready to answer and he says there was an old lady who lived by the well and when she died she went to uh what do you want prose or poetry <laughs> <laughs> payroll deduction is the easiest way to donate if you've enjoyed the show and want to show your appreciation and support please donate to song trade via the mcgill payroll deduction site if you've not already done so, and if you have, thank you. Locate the personalized email that was sent to you from the McGill Sontrade co-chairs, Dean Robert Leakey and Vice Principal Communications and External Affairs, Mr. Louis Arsenault. If you cannot no locate this email, don't worry. Send an email to Charles Wan at systems.hr at mcgill.ca. He'll provide you with your personalized link to the Sontrade website. Once there, select payroll deduction and specify the donation you'd like to give. It's spread out over 26 pay cycles, and you get an income tax deduction at the end of the year for half of your donation. Even just $2 a paycheck makes a huge difference, or give a set amount, whatever you can spare. Your contribution is greatly appreciated and has a real impact. Win-win. Thank you. So this is what I've been really looking forward to with my wonderful colleague, Marika Ramundo, and her amazing children, Thomas and Emma, and her great husband, Rael Hapel, doing a song about tacos. I love tacos. Oh, who doesn't, Steve? Thanks for your submission, Marika. Let's see what uh, this family has to show us. I'm, I'm Marika Ramundo's daughter, <laughs> Emma. And my, I'm mommy's brother, Thomas. And I'm Thomas's uncle, daddy. 
and this is for you. You. It's rainy tacos from out of the sky. Tacos, no need to ask why. Just open your mouth and close your eyes. It's raining tacos. It's raining tacos. Out in the streets, tacos. All you can eat, lettuce and shells, cheese and meat. It's raining tacos. Yum, 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 yum. It's like a dream. Yum, 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 yum. Bring your sour cream. Next up, we have a, a great little piece here, and this was submitted by uh, Wendy, Hannah, and Michelle. Uh, they uh, they submitted a very fun clip, and this is an experimental film uh, that belonged to the John Bland uh, Canadian Architecture Collection. It was uh, it's a short experimental film that was rediscovered, restored, and digitized, and uh, it's by artist photographer Gordon Weber, who uh, used to be a professor here, apparently. So let's all enjoy this experimental film by Mr. Weber. This next performer needs no introduction like the song he's going to perform for us, which was originally recorded in 1958. It's a Mexican flavored rock and roll instrumental made famous by Pee Wee Herman in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And Jason's going to be singing this one, Steve. And I heard that he was just as good at singing as he is at serving library patrons. Isn't that right? He's amazing at serving library patrons. <laughs>
All right, everyone. Next up, we've got the part that everyone's just been looking forward to a whole lot. This is the pets of the McGill Library Show. And we sure do have a lot of great pets in the library, don't we, Steve? We have amazing pets in the library. Uh, Thomas, did I submit a picture of our dog, Nova? Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't... I don't see it. I don't see it here, Steve. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a photo of oh, your no, dog. Oh, no, it's in my hat. Uh, oh, it's, it's, in, <laughs> it's in the hat. It's in his hat. All right, okay. Well, we're going to get the picture of Nova out of Steve's hat. We'll put it on the slideshow, and everyone just enjoy this one. A lot of cute animals on here. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> So I want to say thank you to everybody for joining us here today, but the real reason we're here is to really let people know about the importance of Sound Trade and the good work that they do in Montreal 365 days a year. And unfortunately, a lot of people due to COVID-19 are really having to make use of the support that Sound Trade provides to so many agencies here in Montreal. So let's not forget them and let's remember to make them an important part of our lives. Thanks so much. Such an important time to be supporting our community, Steve. And as for all you folks watching at home know, you can follow the directions that Jane so kindly laid out for us earlier in the earlier in the show to make a contribution via payroll deduction. And if you missed that part, then feel free to send uh, me an email, thomas.dodlin at mcgill.ca. It'll also be in the video description if you want to get started with payroll deduction in support of, in support of Sontrade. So Steve, it's come to the end of our wonderful, wonderful program here. Uh, did you enjoy everything you saw, Steve? I thought it was amazing, especially the pets, and especially the song about tacos. I love tacos. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, no joke. We have some wonderfully talented staff uh, here at McGill, and we're so lucky to know you and work alongside you and and everyone. You know, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for submitting your photos and your videos. And obviously, a big shout out goes to Marika, Lauren, and Elisa for putting this video all together. It was no easy task. It was no easy task, and they did a great job. Um, of course, everything was organized by the Sontrade Committee, which is comprised of Diane Cohen, Jane Watson Sevigny, Natalie Cook, Carol Urban, Michael David Miller, Ariana Comodini, and myself, Thomas Dodlin. So we just want to thank you again for watching our performance here tonight and you know steve and i were we're honored to host you and to wrap it up we've got one final song from my band king lobster crew it's called who knows because who knows what's going to happen in the future steve but we're going to make sure it's better for everybody isn't that right that's right thanks thomas you have a great evening thanks everyone have a good night all right this one's called uh this is a new one it's called who knows
Thank you. That was that was our last song.